welcome to day eight of Advent. Our word of the day is, oh, ugh, it's sin. What happens when we do something wrong? I wish it wasn't really very easy to answer that question. I start getting feelings that I don't really like, maybe a, a knot in my tummy or prickles up my back. I can start feeling scared that I might get found out. My forehead maybe starts sweating and maybe I get over defensive. Hello! What do you want? It wasn't me, I didn't do it! I don't even like cake! I hope that I also learn not to do that wrong thing again. Bye! Mary's husband Joseph was a good man. He did not want to cause her public disgrace, so he planned to divorce her secretly. But after Joseph thought about this, an angel from the Lord came to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to accept Mary to be your wife. The baby inside her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son. You will name him Jesus. Give him that name because he will save his people from their sins. Today's icebreaker question was, what happens when we do something wrong? I don't know about you guys watching, but for me, when I do something wrong, this is kind of how it goes. Well, first of all, I feel bad about that thing inside that I've done. Secondly, I feel sad that I've done it. I wish I hadn't. And thirdly, it makes me want to run away from it and not own up. It makes me feel scared and anxious especially if the thing I've done wrong, the other person hasn't found out about. So three things happen for me. I feel bad about it, I feel sad about it, and then I feel scared and afraid because I worry about what the effect is gonna be if I own up and tell that person that I've done something wrong. It also can make me feel really far away from God unless I go and talk to him about it, say sorry, and ask for him to forgive me. It can be really hard sometimes to admit that we've actually done something wrong, even if we know that it can be a really big thing. And even if somebody else knows that we've done it, it can be really hard to actually just come out and say, yeah, I, I did that wrong. But what can sometimes be even harder is to ask somebody for forgiveness for something we've done wrong. We can get to the point of saying, sorry, sorry I didn't do that, sorry I mucked up. But actually asking someone to forgive us can be even harder than saying sorry. And as well as asking for forgiveness, giving someone else forgiveness is equally difficult. But your challenge for today is to think of one thing that you know you've done wrong to somebody and to go and ask them to forgive you. And also to think about one thing that you know somebody's done wrong to you and to go and give them your forgiveness, even if they don't ask for it. You might find it really, really difficult but God says that he'll help us to forgive people. And he promises that when we forgive people, he forgives us, which is a fantastic thing. So I hope that you manage to do your challenge for today, even if it is difficult. And I hope God gives you the courage and the strength to be able to ask and to forgive.